It's summer now, and for many of us, that means that the warm weather is encouraging us to do more outside. With the trees blossoming and the flowers blooming, this is the season of the year where nature feels the most full of life. One of the noticeable changes as we emerge from winter's long hibernation are the addition of new smells. We tend to feel refreshed when stepping outside and our nose senses new vibrant life. Now, why do I mention this? After being outdoors and experiencing all that nature has to offer in its most spirited state, the last thing you want to do is come home to a space that smells less than desirable. And to further that point, a space that smells unnatural. My name is Chaudhry, and today we are covering how to make your house smell good naturally. If you're a returning subscriber, hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, hopefully by the end of this video, you will be a subscriber. The first recommendation I have for you is to make your own Febreze bottle. Although Febreze can smell pretty fresh, there are roughly 10 chemicals within the freshener that are questionable when it comes to humans breathing them in. Creating your own freshener is one of the most versatile tips that I have for you today because you can use a spray bottle on nearly anything. You can spray it in the air or you can spray it directly on items which you're not able to wash. The ingredients are simple. A 16 ounce spray bottle, one tablespoon of baking soda, two cups of distilled water, and 10 drops of essential oil. You can find a ton of scent recipes online that are created by mixing different oils. While on the subject of recreating items that we might have bought off the shelf, I have a bonus tip for you. If you have those plug-in fresheners, but you want to go a more natural route, don't throw them away. The device itself still works. Just refill them with your favorite essential oils rather than the pre-made mix. The next tip is an old realtor's trick. And I'm not sure how many real estate agents nowadays are even aware of this trick. This is the vanilla extract trick. What you do is put one to two drops of vanilla extract on your lamp light bulbs. When you turn on the lights, it's going to fill your home with the smell of baked goods without you ever having to touch the oven. Another cost-effective do-it-yourself creation is natural carpet powder. You can make this in bulk and you can use it often, much like the spray bottle that I mentioned earlier. There are a few different ways to make the powder, but here is one way. Half cup baking soda, half cup borax or cornstarch. This is optional though. The powder will work with baking soda alone. 30 drops of your favorite essential oils and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon or cloves. A word of caution though, if you have lighter carpets, skip the ground cinnamon or cloves because it could cause discoloration over time. Sprinkle the mixture onto your carpets, let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes, and then vacuum. The fifth and final tip I have for you focuses on your closets. It's a very simple remedy that ensures that your entire home is smelling fresh. That simple remedy is tea bags. Tie a few scented tea bags to your closet rods and they will slowly soak up any odors that may be coming from your clothes. It's a very refreshing feeling to open your closet when getting ready and to be greeted by the aromas of your favorite teas. You now have five natural ways to keep the inside of your home smelling just as good as the scents provided by the beautiful weather outside. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you feel like sticking around a while, feel free to subscribe. You see you on the can next see one. Straight through my life. Oh, there's something in my chest that I can't hide. When feelings get involved, I'm terrified. 